Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Zemu, which is the Xbox original emulator. So I'm going to be installing this on my M1 Apple Silicon Mac. I'm running this on my M1 Pro, which is the 14 inch base model released in 2021. So here we're going to go to the Zemu.app website and we're going to go ahead and download this application. So we're going to be downloading the universal binary, which means that we have an ARM build built into this binary. We're going to click download here and then go to our downloads folder. So within our downloads folder, we have this Zemu macOS universal release. So I want to double click on it and then we have the application here if I control click and get info this is a universal application which means that it's been built for native ARM performance so I'm going to move this into the applications folder and then scroll down to the bottom here and we're going to open up Zemu so control click click open and then if you have this issue because it says it can't be opened make sure to press control and then click and then click open if you're still having an issue you can also do this through system preferences you can go to security and privacy go to general and then click open anyway here because it's been blocked we're going to manually open anyway and click open again who is asking us for permissions so i'm going to click on open system preferences then click on the padlock here type in your password and then give the zemo application permission so i'm going to do this quit the zemo application let it reopen if it doesn't reopen then just double click on zemo and then it will open up so now we need to set up the files that are necessary to run this so basically we need to go to machines go to settings and then basically we need to acquire the flash bars file the mcpx boot rom file and the hard disk image file so i'm going to show you how to do this so on the zemu.app website we're going to go to documentation and then we have this section here required files on the left so i'm going to click on this these are the parts that we need so basically we need to acquire this mcpx boot rom image and this is the hash of that file it's like a code which identifies what exactly that file is so this is the hash file what i'm going to do is to copy this and basically we can acquire it by going to google so this is something that's considered piracy so what i'll certainly do is certainly consider dumping the file yourself or you might be able to acquire a similar file if you copy this code here and then put it into Google and then find a file yourself. For example, there's a website here called emulation.gametechwiki.com where you might be able to find some of the necessary files that we need because we need the, all the three of these and then this website has all of them. Please be very careful about downloading anything from the internet from sources that you're not unsure of. This may damage your computer and it might contradict the laws in your country. So the settings we want to have, we want to link our flash bars files. So this file is the xbox-4627 underscore debug.bin. So this file is the 4627. That's the one recommended by the Zemu website. Then the mcpx boot rom file, we want the mcpx underscore 1.0 bin, and that's listed here under the Xbox BIOS there. Here we have the hard disk image file. We're gonna be using this xbox underscore hdd.qcal2. That's the default virtual hard drive type. Once we save this, we can click out of the emulator and click on Zemu again. Press okay here, press okay. And basically what we wanna do is to load the disk. So basically the file format that you're gonna want is called an XISO. So that's a special Xbox formatted ISO file basically if you google this you'll find lots of entries on the internet the important thing is that we have this format called xiso.iso that is going to be compatible with zemu so here for example i'm going to download this xiso.iso this is version 1.2 i'm going to press download here so basically I'm going to download this version. I'm going to click allow here to download this ISO. So what I'm going to do now is to go to the machine and then go to load disk here. So we're going to load our Halo Combat Evolved XISO.ISO file. So I'm going to click open here and then we're going to restart the machine. So I'm going to click reset here. So basically it's going to load up the game for us. It's going to go through this splash screen and then I've got my controller set up. So I've got my input here. So I've got my controller set up, so I can just go ahead and set this up. So I'm just going to set up my controls here, and then we're going to campaign and then select the first level. So here we can view the monitor here, we can choose the frame rate. So the original Xbox we used to run games at 30 frames per second, which is pretty normal. What I'm also going to do is to full screen this game, so we can just press this green button to full screen. All of these old Xbox games, they displayed everything in 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So here we can see the frame rate is not perfect. We're getting around 15, 16 frames per second. This is not too bad considering that we're running the M1 Pro. So this game seems to run okay. It seems to be running nearly 30 frames per second during the cutscenes and probably during gameplay, it's not gonna be that great. So I can see when we're walking around, we're doing about 20 to 25 FPS, which is not too bad. I wonder what it's gonna be like in the open world. But anyway, this is how you get this emulator to run. We can obviously change the settings as well. We can change the rendering scale to two times, for example, but that's really gonna tank the frame rate. Let me try three times. Yeah, that's gonna um, reduce frame rate quite a lot. Can we scale this to 16 by nine? Yeah, so we're getting slightly lower frame rates, but it's getting close to what the actual native port 
It's not really close to what we could achieve on crossover or parallels with the Halo MCC version, but it's an interesting proof of concept. And to be honest, Halo Combat Evolved is not really the best example of a game to try. So notoriously Xbox games are very hard to emulate. I'll go to the compatibility section here and check if any other games are more playable or more compatible. And where that Halo is a particularly demanding game, I'm sure other games or more 2D based games would be easier to emulate. So another thing about Zemu is that we don't have a built-in snapshot or save state manager. However, one way of doing it is to go into the debug menu and go to monitor. And this brings up this kind of console experience. What we can do is do something like save VM as a command and press space and then test one. And this will save the state of the current virtual machine. And so for example, if I'm looking at this right hand side of the screen now, I can go back to the monitor and I can load, I can use the command load VM test one. That's going to bring us back to the original view. So this emulator is capable of save states, even though it's not part of the official user interface. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.